Hello world. Well, it's the end of the day here, so I figured I'd do you another video. I have I've yet to do a video on this skitter we got here. This is the big 545. Cat's monster freaking skitter. Like you see this tire right here? I'm six foot, dang near six foot seven. This tire right come. This is a freaking big tire. Comparison to my pickup, it's about as tall as my pickup there. And uh, we got our spiky shoes on. These help us get around in the winter time, even in summertime. I mean, heck, they get around anywhere. They're getting kind of old and worn out, so got shackles all over the place in them so they don't fall off. But I figured I'd do a video and kind of give you guys a walk around of our 545, our flat ground skitter. You see, this is what we're logging with it. There's a little bit of hilly stuff, which she does okay on hills. You see that little hill there. But for the most part, this is all a flat ground job, so this is the best tool for the job. Neither that or the old 7, which the other day I actually started out on the 7, and I was so thankful to get this here. So thankful. All right, it's a little windy. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Here's the grapples here. We got a full rotate set up. And spin them all the way around, which me, I'm still used to the lock to lock, so I always try to keep this side back. Just freaking used to it. <coughs> Actually, I guess that's that's the wrong side back. Forget what I was just saying. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you see the arch here. Which once you're used to the 527 swing boom, you always catch yourself pushing that button to get the boom to swing over, and it's a freaking arch. It don't swing over. All right, the winch here. Uh, let's talk about this winch. This winch right here. I'm not real sure what kind of winch it is. It says it's a TD7, and there's a star on it. Well, me, I used to run a 518 skitter. It's got a gearmatic winch on it. And holy heck, that thing was just a pain in the butt. I mean, they work good, but you're constantly working on them. I mean, when they're working, they work good. But if any of you guys have been around a 518 with a freaking gearmatic winch, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Dang, the clutch discs inside of them and then the brake fluid set up and all that shit. It's a pain in the butt. So once I started working with this winch here, it took me a second to realize that you need to pay attention you start hearing those crown wires start popping let it stop right then because you're going to break some you're going to break that cable it's going to come flying back at you all right this machine here it's got ac right here's where the condenser is and all that stuff comes leaking on you or leaking down there it doesn't leak on you but uh all right let's hop inside the cab it's got a 3306 motor i think it's around 250 horsepower uh, a gazillion pounds of torque okay <laughs> It definitely feels like it. I mean, this thing here, pull the steering wheel down, lock it into place so it's not all over the place. This is shift up. There's five forward gears, three reverse gears. Maybe four reverse gears. Three or four. Not real sure. All right, this right here is forward. This right here is reverse. So it's pretty, pretty simple. Forward, reverse, switch on the fly, kind of, you know, stop so you, you don't fucking ruin your transmission. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty pretty easy there steering wheel skinny pedal big pedal here's the blade you guys know what that does and that does I'm sure which this one here I mean you push that freaking skinny pedal holy man once I got back in this thing after not running in a while you go to pull a turn in freaking thing will either stand a wheelie if the turns too big either that or it'll move whatever you're hooked to because I mean this thing has freaking power like I think I've said before in a different video, whatever, you, you kind of feel like Jeremy freaking Clarkson from Top Gear, man. I mean, just fucking power. This thing, pretty, pretty sweet machine. All right, I went to Walmart and I bought this Bluetooth stereo, you know. And, you know, it kind of sucks buying something for work, but that was worth the 20 bucks I spent out of pocket. Not at all, because, you know, my boss, it, it's hard to convince him that we need to spend his money on a stereo. So I went and bought this. It's just a cheap little bluetooth thing that links to my phone which is freaking awesome because if i'm in service like i am now i could be just rocking out to pandora or the google music is what i got but it's pretty sweet you know just rocking out freaking iron maiden aussie all day long either that or get in some bobby club banging stuff whatever if you want to get all yeah you know whatever all right right here this is the locker Say if you start pulling on a turn, it doesn't want to move. You put this in, and holy heck, you're going to move something, either that or you're going to stand the back of this thing over and shift the front over. So when you put this in, be careful, you know, to kind of know what you're doing. It, a, lot of, a lot of people like newbies, you probably shouldn't even look. You shouldn't even see this, actually. This ain't even here. 
All right, here's the climate control, air conditioner, heater, which the AC in this thing works phenomenal. It's freaking awesome, let me tell you. It's pretty warm right now, actually. I'm wearing my stocking cap because I got all this freaking hair, but. All right, here's the joystick here. This is to close open. Even though when you're going to close it and you got your turn in, you just want to pull the trigger there because the trigger puts it in aught. And you'll see the, the aught right there. The light will flash when you're in, whatever. It just holds pressure on the turn. It doesn't, you know, let it bleed off or anything like that. So it's constantly giving a dink, dink. That way, whatever, you know you're not going to lose what you're held on to, drizzling logs and have to go back and build a freaking turn out of all the logs you lost, which sucks. All right, here's the winch control. This here is free spool out. This here is kind of a, kind of a mid, what, what do you call this? I don't, I'm not really sure what to call this one here. Say if you're, you know, you don't want to just free spool out completely, whatever. Oh yeah, say if, you, you know, you want to be able to free spool and pull away from a turn, whatever, you can use this. So it doesn't completely lock it. It's just a, necessarily kind of a break. And uh, this here, that there's when you're going ahead on the turn. You put this on. I think so. Yeah, that's the brake. Put the brake on. Kimp on the turn. Bop, 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 bop. And that thing, freaking like I said earlier, that will break that line. If you aren't paying attention, that will break the freaking line. You start hearing that crown wire pop, you stop, you redirect, unhook something, get out and buck something, do what you gotta do. Don't go breaking your freaking skid line all the time. What's that there? That's just some old Yoder skid line. We, you know, probably laying around the yard and we take 150 shot of it or so and throw it on here. All right, well, heck, I wanted to go around and give you a video. The other video I'm gonna put up before this is uh, actually a coworker of mine. He, he takes a video every once in a while, which is awesome. You know, I gotta give him a shout out. Old Jim Cruz. Good guy. He's a stroker operator. Delimmer. He's freaking one of the best stroker operators I've seen. Hopefully he doesn't watch this and see this. His head's, head will start swelling up. <laughs> you guys, you know what I'm talking about. We all got we all got coworkers. You know, you tell them they're good at something, they're freaking, you know, oh, 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 I know, I know, you know. So you, you can't really go telling people they're good at something. All right. That's an old D7G right there. That is a freaking hoss of a cat. That, uh, that d6h i did a video about not too long ago it's a freaking great cat but man that seven holy heck man you can yank a stump right out of the ground that thing is a freaking hoss learning how to run it the other day well not necessarily learning how to run it but uh yarding with it the other day was pretty tough i mean because you're sitting there and sometimes you got to pick your turns you got to build turns as you go and uh with the old three sticks and Oh man, and then you know yeah, that thing doesn't have much ground clearance at all, so it's it's easy to get hung up on stuff. So I, I was so happy to have this out on this job. Super stoked to have this thing. This is a sweet machine. You know, um, it's the weekdays. It's pretty easy for me just to bust out a quick video at the end of my workday. It's not too bad at all. On the weekends, I usually do my thrash around, you know, pickups videos last weekend i didn't i mean heck when you're running these skidding things which the uh, last i was actually in my shovel last week and uh which i was on really freaking steep ground or whatever so i was beating the heck out of myself on it too so but when you're in these skidding devices i mean it's rough on you so the last thing you want to do is go freaking beat around in your toyota or samurai on the weekend and uh so i didn't do a wheeling video but i'll get one to you guys this weekend and uh I hope you enjoy my content. Thank you for, very much if you're a subscriber already. It's freaking awesome. And uh, I'm still super stoked about being featured on that Donut Media Samurai video. That was freaking awesome. You can't even believe how stoked I was when I seen that. And then they used three clips. I'm freaking ecstatic. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoy. Have a good weekend. Well, or whenever you see this, have a great freaking day. Stay beautiful. <laughs> Love you. All right.